the T7 Red Hawk trainer jet makes its first flight. T7 Red Hawk jet takes its first flight. The Air Force's new T7 Red Hawk training jet flew for the first time Wednesday in St. Louis, Missouri. It's the first flight beginning of the T7's final development phase before Boeing starts producing military ready jets. Red Hawks will replace the Air Force's six decade old T38 Talon trainers as the main platform that prepares American and foreign pilots to fly fighter and or bomber aircraft. Over the course of the hour long trip from St. Louis, uh, Major Bryce Turner, a test pilot with the 416th, uh, gauged how smoothly the plane maneuvered and tested secondary systems like the auxiliary power supply. <laughs> oh boy. The pair vetted how well the aircraft, uh, the plane handled upside positive and negative G forces as a pilot experiences when accelerating or flying upside down, practice in high altitude airspace. The stable performance of the aircraft and its advanced cockpits and systems are game changers for the Air Force and instru instructors and students alike. Uh, it's got a digital cockpit. The Air Force plans to buy 351 starting in December 2025 under the contract that was awarded back in 2018 for $9.2 billion. Um, Air Force officials now plan to decide in early 2025 whether to begin building operational jets, meaning the service would start receiving aircrafts two years later than originally intended. Uh, this thing has been, there's all kind of things. The T-38s have an engine problems, but the point, the reason I brought this article to light is because we were flying the T-38A at Eglin, and in pilot training, I flew the T-38C, and I think... When I flew the T-38C, as old as I am, in 2007, that too jet old. was too old. It was too old. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, let's just keep going. We're just gonna yeah. we're just gonna yeah, press. Yeah. Like the at show must point. go on. But but at that but the trainer, like the Navy, said, "Hey, we're gonna get a T-45. When did the T-45 go into service? How do I? What is this? A quiz? Come on! Like I don't know. I, okay, two, at well, least 2000. Well, they were doing mixed bags in 2004. So okay, around. perfect. In the 2000s. In the Stop 2000s, which is around the time the T-38C came out, mm -hmm. they were they needed to develop a new trainer. This T-7 is awesome, but it needed to happen 20 years ago when the T-6 was coming online. When the T-6, they were like, hey, we need a T-6. Cool, T-6, T-38, because the T-38 does not replicate anything in the fleet that the Air Force has, and it hasn't in about 60 years. Like It actually was obsolete almost immediately because once the century series fighters were gone, that's it. Like the F 16, F 15, none of those jets were applicable to this. So, I mean, it's cool, but it's too late. And I, I love that it's got the commonality with, you know, F 35, the touch screens you can get from one and simulate all that stuff. That's awesome. It's got high performance. It's a hot rod, but it's just too late. And it goes to show you how bad contracting is. It's almost as bad as Gonkey's internet. The fact that we can't develop a new trainer in a short amount of time and get it oh. airworthy and without significant delays like Gonkey's Internet. I was going to say you can use your breaking news banner for what I'm about to say here, but um, Hold on. breaking news, a government plane is behind schedule. I mean, is this any different than anything you saw your whole career? F-35, F-22, the Super Hornet variants. This is what we do. We're behind schedule and it's ridiculous. Well, okay. And I agree with you. It looks like a really cool plane. Although it's, I say that it looks a little odd to me. Am I the only one that thinks it looks a little odd or it just looks, go to the picture. That little guy. That guy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that little guy. Like that little the guy. canopy looks too long. It looks like one of those. It looks um, like it's got non, visibility. Well, okay. It looks like one of those non CGI CGI Top Gun Maverick things. It you know looks I mean? like you eject it's through just, the canopy, just like Fat Amy. Like, I don't know what this obsession is with canopy well, fracturing systems. I mean, the T-45 is the same way, right? It's because it's British. The Brits love to go through the glass. Through the they don't like to throw the canopy out the way. They want to go through it. Yeah. Well, that's noble until you see what it does when one of those canopies explodes and gets into your skin. Anonymous says, I saw the T-7 fly before it was announced. Perks of working in the flight path of Lambert. That's awesome. You know, I, it's mean, a, I, can't, I just venture. can't tell if I think it's a cool looking plane or not. I need to see it. Well, here's a, here's what I like. I like the folks at Saab. Right? Okay, My, Donkey agrees. I think. The, the, the folks at Saab are really good. They're really cool. The Gripen's awesome. And the fact that they're working on this gives me hope. Just like 
Leonardo working on the MH-139. I mean, Boeing by themselves, not so great with the helicopters. But if you add a good partner like Leonardo or Saab, you might get something good. We'll see. Right. The, I think the real magic is in the avionics. So, I mean, airplanes an airplane, right? So, you know, they're teaching students now a little bit of radar stuff, probably data link, the more advanced stuff, because the jump from T-38 to Raptor or any fourth gen airplane is pretty big. And they're, they're just trying to close does that gap. Does it have gap. a radar? I don't know if it does or not. No, but they could I, have I don't... synthetic radar. They were doing that with the T-45 down in Pensacola too, where like they had like fake yep. radar. ADSB, which, yeah. yeah. I guess, I don't know. TCAS, but, that's what the T-38C. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, I do agree. I think it is quite a jump, <clears> frankly. <throat> I mean, even, I mean, Gonky, think about, and this is going back, but T-45 Alpha to... You're gone. You're not going to listen to what I'm about to say. So it doesn't matter. Well, okay. T-45 um, to Hornet was even a jump, right? I mean, that was no joke. There was a lot. And I mean, now if you think it's the same T-45 and you're going to an F-35, like, good luck, bro.